In this video, I'm going to run through with you the best way to back up your files and assets across multiple hard drives and file storage systems using Chronosync. They are not a sponsor of this video. My channel is way too small to be sponsored just yet. So let's get into it. So after you've purchased and installed Chronosync on your computer, you'll be greeted with this window, but without archive backup in here. Come over to create new synchronizer task, and then this window will appear. You'll need to give this synchronizer task a name. I'm going to give it admin backup. Admin, admin, press OK. So the way this works is pretty intuitive and simple. On the left here, you will choose the folder, hard drive, or file storage system that you want to back up. I'm going to select my working SSD, which is T7 SSD, and then I'm going to select a folder within that. You can select the entire SSD or hard drive or storage system, but for this instance, for speed, I'm going to just select one folder. I'll select admin, press select. Over on the right hand side, I'm going to put that into my T5 SSD. As you can see, there's nothing in it. Press select. I will also press synchronize deletions. After selecting that, I'm going to decide what the software does with the deleted files. You could do move to archive, move to trash or delete immediately. I usually select delete immediately. Now in the middle drop down menu, you have here operation. You can select all of these options down here. I stick with either backup left to right or mirror left to right. And I find that works just fine for what I need it for. So now you can come to here and press the big synchronize button. Or if you want to add this to a schedule and have it back up on a regular basis, come up to the right hand side and click add to schedule. You'll then rename this. I'll just keep it as admin backup. And then you decide when you want the software to run the backups. You can run through all of these options here. I would personally keep it to daily at a particular time. So normally four o'clock, just before I finish the end of the working day, this software starts to back everything up. Or you can go on to an advanced interval, select the exact hour and minute that you wish for it to start backing up, as well as whether it's only once hourly, weekly or monthly. You could come on to event triggered. So maybe after Chronosync launches or another one that I've used is when a file system change is made. But for now, let's just keep it to a simple interval. We'll go for daily at four o'clock in the afternoon. Click add. And now that's added to the schedule, you can see up here on the left hand side, admin backup, last run, never. You can come up and press this play button here and that will run the synchronization. Or you can come down to here and press it. It does exactly the same thing. So let's just go here, run synchronization. And there you go, it is done. Obviously this is done very quickly because my admin folder has literally one single chapter marker converter Excel spreadsheet in it. So this is the T7 drive. If I come over to here, click on T5, you'll see that it's backed up to there. The great thing about this software is that you don't need similar hard drives, SSDs or file storage systems. It works across a range of them. So you can have a Samsung SSD talking to a Lacey hard drive. You can even back up your iCloud onto an SSD or Lacey hard drive or onto potentially a OneDrive. For I'll quickly run through with you how to set up an iCloud backup. So we'll come up into Chronosync, select this drop down menu, come down to iCloud storage. Now select the folders within iCloud that you wish to back up. I'll back up my desktop. And now I'm gonna choose where that will get backed up to. So again, we will select my T5 SSD, press select. I can come up to here and add a schedule if I wish, but for this one, I'm just gonna select to back it up immediately. And there you go, it's done. And now you can see that I have what was in my iCloud desktop backed up onto my T5 SSD. To get hold of Chronosync, I would simply search for it in Google, come to the econtechnologies.com, and then buy now or get a free trial if you're not willing to commit to it just yet. Sometimes this is on sale, but honestly, I think that 
$50, not sure what that is in pounds, maybe about 40, 45 pounds, is more than worth it for the peace of mind you get knowing that all of your files are backed up. Now, of course, there are many other options and ways in which you can configure Chronosync to best work for you. I personally don't change a lot of options because I just like to keep things simple. I hope you found this video useful. And if you go ahead and download and start using Chronosync, I'd love to hear what you think about it.